Mr. Vogelweed is kind of like the Pied Piper here at Mendes. The kids just flock to him. Um, he has such a way at building relationships with our students and they know that he cares about them. He participates in our character counts assemblies and is often the star of the show. And so he just has great relationships with all the students. Whenever I hear that it's art today, I jump out of my bed and say, yay, it's art, and I'm so happy. He's very peppy. He's always in a good mood. Um, he, when I started here, he was teaching second grade. He did an awesome job there, but he's really an artist at heart, and he absolutely loves kids and wants to create art with them, and he's just transformed the school entirely. You're a tremendous asset to our campus. Thank you for the work that you do and for your caring and compassion for the kids here at Mendes that need you every day that they come to school. A little bit about Miss Wagner. We all love Miss Wagner. Obviously, she's the teacher of the year. Miss Wagner is an individual that comes to work every day and truly loves her job. She is full of energy. She is very charismatic. She is what I would call a true team player. She is willing to go above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, sometimes we have to tell Miss Wagner that she can't do some things because she's willing to try everything. One thing Miss Wagner helps us, she's nice. She helps us succeed over the year and she's a very good math teacher. Miss Wagner, she makes uh, math like fun when she's teaching. She makes it like enjoyable for you to actually like like it and you know have a fun time. It is my honor and the honor of Miller Middle School that you are the Teacher of the Year. Thank you for what you do for our campus, our kids, and our parents. We appreciate you. We are so blessed to have Ms. Diaz here on our campus. Uh, first of all, she builds up strong relationships with her kids and her families. Second of all, she's a great leader at our school. She's CIT leader for first grade team. She works really well with not only her team, but everyone else on our leadership team and the faculty as a whole. She's just here for the kids. Ms. Diaz has been my mentor all throughout the school year from the second I got hired. She's, um, she's been there. She's from showing me her organizational things to getting me through the weeks and helping me with lesson plans and figuring out the best way to do things. I always say, oh my gosh, I just want to be like you. And she's like, I have 10 years of teaching. You'll get there one day. And she's always so positive and uplifting. Like first year teaching is, is rough. And she's been so great getting me through there and giving me that extra push I need every day. Congratulations, Miss Diaz, because you're the best. Mr. Montgomery has a knack for reaching the kids. He touches their hearts before he tries to touch their brains. So they meet and exceed his expectations. They meet the challenge because of the relationship with him. I think that they want to work for him. They want to succeed for him. Monty's just a straight up, straightforward, no nonsense kind of teacher. Um, but at the same time, he's just the guy you go to when you need support on campus and um, and that's good to have on any campus. Monty, he's a good teacher because he connects well with his students. He's funny, he's very outgoing, he's very like on top of you like making sure that you're doing your work and he'll help you out. You could tell that he cares about us like he wants us to succeed. He pushes us to it. Miss Gonzalez makes sure that the kids know that they are loved and that they are safe and that she's going to take care of them and be their school mom and um, then she hits the academics and she gets results. She has really mastered her craft. She is a team player. She's very positive and she always, always, always wants to do what's best for her students and in actuality what's best for Travis Elementary. She's a Travis Texan through and through. Once a Texan, always a Texan. That really describes Seneca Gonzalez. Congratulations, Seneca. You're so deserving of this reward. I love you like a sister, and you deserve everything. Love you. We love you, Miss Gonzalez! Well, Mr. Higgins is a amazing teacher. He doesn't just teach us music, he teaches us life lessons, how to deal with anxiety, and he does mindful moments with us, and lots of breathing exercises. 
He has a definite high standard he holds the kids to. I mean, you'll go in there and they'll be doing first graders and they'll, he'll hold them to, hey, this is, what, this is what the music is, this is what you need to do. And he really wants to teach them at a very high level of the importance and value of music. You have been an amazing music teacher and you absolutely deserve this um, Teacher of the Year Award. You've taught me so much over the years. Thank you. Mr. Rega, congratulations. You're well deserving of the honor and sorry I couldn't be there. I'm on a PD out of town, but you, thank you for what you do to the school. I really appreciate it. Sandra Mattingly is a very high energy teacher. She really puts a lot of effort in planning lessons that are engaging for the students. They're authentic lessons, they're hands-on, and so not only is she covering the TEKS, um, she does a good job of helping students to enjoy that learning process. She um, has kids lined up outside of her door in the morning before she even gets here, so you know that she's making an impact on them. And even after school, there's even more kids here for their former students, and she's always trying to take the time to get to know them as a person and to really um, just be a huge blessing on their lives. Miss Mattingly, I just want to congratulate you on being Teacher of the Year for Hernandez Elementary School. Um, we are so proud of you. We appreciate you not only as a teacher but a teacher leader on the campus. You help us with decision making um, at, at the campus level but you impact so many different student lives and we really value you here. What makes Mr. Flores stand out amongst just so many wonderful teachers that we have here is that his commitment to making sure that all students are successful um, has been just wonderful. You know, he's gone from teaching just in the short years that he's been here, uh, different things. And just uh, being able to uh, do whatever it takes in whatever setting he's in and, and being successful at it. He is extremely passionate about his work and he always puts so much thought into how that he can help students uh, grow. So I'm extremely proud of you and I'm extremely proud to be working on your side in your classroom, learning and growing together. Hey Renee, uh, we just love that you're representing Bonham as our Teacher of the Year and um, go, go for it, go get it, um, get it done, and that's just what you do. So we appreciate you and all you do. Mr. Dubois brings a lot of excitement and passion to his classroom, and that's what makes him an extremely effective teacher. Um, his kids can feel it, and they go with it. He is and has grown so much as a teacher and absolutely deserves this um, recognition because of the work that he does and all that he does for the kids of San Marcos. He really sets the example of what teaching is. Someone who is constantly wanting to grow, constantly wanting to learn, collaborate, make learning fun and exciting for his students. Congratulations, Kelly. You absolutely deserve this award. Um, it has been an honor to work with you. I am so glad that I get to hand off the baton to you. Um, you are the change, so keep on making it happen. So Ms. Miskies is my co-sponsor for Student Council. She has the most infectious smile. She's just one of the nicest people in the whole wide world. She has incredible attention to detail. You can't get anything past her. She is just my best little friend on campus. She's probably one of the most caring people when it comes to our students and really wanting to work with them. And I think that's a dual a dual purpose as far as she is a special ed teacher as well as a student council sponsor. So she's working with our special ed kids to help build them up and including them in our student council, our student leadership while, while raising the whole expectations of those organizations. Hey Yolanda, my girl, I'm so excited for you. Uh, you're so deserving of this award. You have been working your butt off all year, all the time with your graduate school, your students, our student council. I'm just, I feel so lucky to be by your side. And so, huzzah, congratulations. 
Mr. Diaz is um, fairly new to teaching. I believe this is his fourth year um, as a teacher. Um, and he brought just his own experience as being a musician. I know that he often says, you know, I don't know what job you can go every single day and do the very thing that you love the most because I think he's still doing what he loves the most. He's still playing music. He's still being himself and you know he's like you know and you get to spend great time with kids and so to him he still thinks he's on a gig. <laughs> he's the perfect music teacher and I think he should win it for the whole world. I feel like all the kids in the SMCISD district should get to know him and like have him as a music teacher. Hi Mr. Diaz, um, you're a great teacher. I hope you stay here forever and ever. 